There are some men who have primarily fatty tissue, some who have only glandular tissue, and some who have a combination of both. If you say, man, I had something on my chest, I just had to get it off, I guess I'm having something on my chest and I'm getting it off. <laughs> Gabriel came to me about three months ago and has had this condition, basically gynecomastia, which is enlargement of the male breast. And it's clearly bothered him for years since he was a teenager. And he told me just certain social activities, taking off his shirt, running, working out. He was just almost very self-conscious. I've always been concerned with uh, like a weight loss. At my most that I weighed was about 240. All the other parts got slimmer around the face and the stomach, but the, the, the fat around the, the chest always stood out. I had researched the procedure, so I knew a little bit about it. And as far as clearing up everything, he pretty much gave me a very detailed description about the procedure and what would be the results. And pretty much everything I addressed, he took care of. Over the years, I've done lots of these cases and I've modified my approach as I've gained more experience with the procedure. Most men will benefit from some type of liposuction of the fatty tissue around the chest and chest wall. You can kind of see here is I have liposuction on the underside of the gland and above. So you can see it's getting flatter here, not quite there, but this kind of shows you that there's a big central amount of, of breast tissue. We removed a fair amount of fatty tissue from the chest area and that kind of showed us where the glandular tissue was and it's usually sort of in the center portion behind the nipple complex. So based on that, we went ahead and made a small incision at the underside of his nipple and we removed actual breast tissue and that really completed the procedure in his case. Very happy with the results of the surgery, very happy with um, Dr. Kapoor's work. It's a little bit better than what I actually expected. Hey Gabriel. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? It's good to see you. I had the opportunity to see Gabriel today six weeks out of surgery. He's doing great. He's very happy with his early results. He has a little bit of swelling left, but by and large, you can see an excellent contour that he has. Everything appears to be healing well. The healing's going really good. It wasn't painful at all. I didn't have to take a lot of pain medication or things like that, just antibiotics. Just seeing him come full circle six weeks out of surgery, him telling me that he feels very good about the results, he feels very liberated, that to me is really the goal with this procedure. As far as the impact for the future, I think it's just gonna give me a better feeling about myself, you know, self-confidence and everything. I wish I could have done it sooner, but I think it'll make things a lot better for me. With any patient, I just want to hear that they're satisfied and they're really pleased with the results. And I think in his case, it's clear that he is. After the surgery, what, what actually stood out, people that, that we haven't seen for a while, that, that you know, you get complimented, like, oh, you've lost a lot of weight. I don't know if it's because I had that compression vest on, so it was sucking everything in, but um, you know, it just feels good for, for people to notice.